opened up 21 years ago. It was the vision of a great man, Cyril Hennessy. He saw a lot of guys coming in and out of the jail system with a drug and alcohol problem. Their, their problems weren't being addressed and, and his vision was to open up a rehab and thousands of men have, have gotten well through this program. The program here at the Glen is designed around having fun and getting back to the basics, sitting with 20 other blokes who are going through exact same problems as you. Um, I think that's what the difference is with this program. I heard my story through other people and there was people here that, that could, um, you know, they, they had a good life. They lived a similar lifestyle to me and, and that gave me hope and, and um, the third time I came here I, I actually, you know, looked within myself and got honest with myself for the first time and, and um, just makes it easier to, to, you know, to open up and to share with someone that's been through the same thing, walked the same walk as you and I suppose that's the beauty of the Glen. So before I come to the Glen, I've got a, um, a five-year-old son and I was engaged to my partner of um, eight years. You know, I had a pretty sort of bright future when I was a bit younger playing footy and whatnot. I had contracts with Parramatta and Penrith, but yeah, through drugs and alcohol, it sort of, um, everything just diminished as I, as I progressed, you know, from started drinking when I was 15 um, and using drugs also. And, um, you know, since that time, it's just destroyed my life. I struggled to work. I couldn't really hold a job down. I was unemployable. I was just at a stage in my life where I was just desperate for help. That's when I found the Glen. I've been at the Glen for four months now and it's just showed me a, a better way of life. It showed me that I can be happy in life without um, having to use drugs or alcohol. Showing me that, you know, in order to sort of have a happy life and be, you know, successful in anything I wanted to do, that I wouldn't be able to do it with drugs and alcohol in my life. It's showing me strategies I can use um, when I am tempted to use drugs or alcohol. I had to work on, you know, my attitudes and the way that I, you know, I've, I've viewed my life. And that's something that I'm doing on a daily basis today. Guys go out and dance in, in the community. We do some traditional dancing and we've done gigs all over, all through the community. We've done gigs with you guys at Mingara and uh, we opened up the Relay for Life. The guys have danced in front of 20,000 people at Belmore for the Bulldogs game and all that sort of stuff. And, and you see their spirit lift and, and they're connect, reconnecting back with culture. It's beautiful. The relationship we've had with Mingara has been great. You know, we raised, raised a lot of money for, for the Glen and, and we couldn't do it without without the support of you guys. You know, you are what you surround yourself with and you know, today I surround myself with positive people that want sobriety. And I have made a lot of good mates where I can just, you know, go and hang out outside of the Glen mm. and just do, you know, sort of norm, normal daily things like go out for lunch or go to dinner, go to the footy, things like that. So for me at the moment I've started working again which I'm really enjoying but most of my time just goes towards my son and just trying to get our relationship back to where it once was. You know there was a lot of times where I wasn't really um, there for him in the past and you know without drugs and alcohol in my life I can make him you know my main priority. And we are breaking free now we're